Welcome to Honey and Brown. Welcome. What do we do here? We do anime and music. Today? We are doing music. Music yeah. corner. Music corner. Uh, typically, we do a lot of Michael Jackson reactions, but uh, today is kind of a special day. Um, today is the anniversary of Chester Bennington's uh, death. Um, he died July 20th, uh, mm -hmm. 2017. So it's been about what, five years now. Uh, Chester Bennington, if you don't know, he is a lead singer of the band called Linkin Park, which is my favorite rock band of all time. Uh, very influential rock band to me. Uh, it, they're actually the band that got me into rock music. And uh, if you know anything about me, rock music is huge. Like I, I listen to rock music all day. So they were the catalyst to that. Um, so when he passed away five years ago, it, it broke my heart. Uh, it was devastating you know it was kind of like the same when michael jackson uh passed away i felt like two big influences in my life were gone now and i had to kind of like fend for myself in the world of like music and just life in general because listening to like both you know michael jackson and lincoln park were very important to me and it helped me out a lot like a lot of people lost um a lot that day when Chester Bennington passed away. So I wanted to do a reaction to a song I haven't heard in a very long time, but it's actually one of my favorite songs by them. And I don't think you've heard it either. So um, this song is called Powerless. Um, it's off of their Living Things uh, release, which is one of my favorite albums by them. It's a very, very good album. I, you know, I think I want to do more reactions to this album because I think you would like this album because it's a good mixture of you know their old stuff and a lot of their new stuff kind of mixed into one mm -hmm. so let's get on to it um before we start i just want to say thank you guys so much for you know all of your guys support you know all the likes comments we're so appreciative um yeah yeah so if you like what you see please uh subscribe uh we typically um talk in depth about the song afterwards so stick around uh to that but let's get on to it this is lincoln park powerless off of the living things album so this is the intro to the song it's about like a minute and a half Oof, I love that part. Mm. Easy sound. <laughs> it sounds so sad, eh? Oh. You hid your skeletons when I had shown you mine You woke the devil that I thought you'd left behind I saw the evidence, the crimson soaking through Ten thousand promises, ten thousand ways to lose And you You were careless to let it fall. You held it all, and I was by your side, I 
So, what do you think of that song? First of all, like, you know, um, it's just, I'm not a fan of Linkin Park. Like, I love them. Like, you know, I, I can, I can see that they're such a good band and great band. <laughs> yeah. They're an amazing band <laughs> and, you know, they're very talented, but I wasn't really like a fan. Like he is like, I love, you know, some of their songs, but not all of them. I find them like quite hard. <laughs> But when Chester like died, I actually listened to his last album. Like one more light. Yeah, one more light. Like I listened to his last album, like I think for two months, because like he is such a talented man, and it it doesn't you know. Mm -mm. I can't. I really can't understand. Like I know we have so much pain that we carry. Like all of us have different types of pain that we carry, and I just don't understand like how someone like you know like him who's so talented who's so young who has so much life to live for can you know can just can just die or can just choose death over living and so like listening to him again right now i haven't listened to after i think after i listened to his album i couldn't listen to any other songs of them anymore just because it hurts me too much every single time i listen because He's such a young guy, like, you know, he's such a young man, like, he can't, he has so much potential in life. And, you know, Donovan loves him so much. And it just hurts me that it this happened, that we lost someone great. And so now, so, you know, listen to him again right now, it's like, makes my heart, like, broken. Because he, he talks a lot about, like, a lot of his songs is all about being powerless, being, like, you know, um, like, talking about depression, yeah. like, a lot of it. And so, like, it, it's basically, like, a cry for help. And it just, it breaks my heart so much. And this music video, though, it's really trippy. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like if I was, you know, in some medications, I'm kidding. <laughs> It would be like, damn. But I love it. It's so creative. The this music video is this an official music video? No, it's done by some fan. Damn, so good. Props. Yeah. Um. I, mean, I don't know where to start with this band. Lincoln Park was like the band that got me into rock music, and when I got into rock music, I never looked back. Rock music has been a big part of my life. Has influenced my life has changed who i was before i listened to rock music to how i am now i'm like almost a completely different person and lincoln park was that band that was the very first time i i really got into rock you know as i said like they are the catalyst into like me discovering rock music and discovering who i was as i guess as a man because i think i i, I got into them um I got into them after the song called Breaking the Habit. So I'm breaking the habit. I'm breaking the habit. I'm breaking the habit said it in like our previous video that um, I had already heard of them prior and I, I was a fan of theirs. I was like, wow, they're, they're actually very odd like they're very good when i heard breaking the habit i was set like i was done like that that song broke me so i, I got hardcore into them and i got hardcore into their meteora um to me that's still their best best album you know that's the song that or um that's the album that has breaking the habit somewhere i belong numb like you know a lot of their big hits but after that i i started to you know listen to their first album and i just really got into them and then when Minutes to Midnight came out, um, that was like, I I fell in love with that album. Like that's, to me, that's my first experience listening to Linkin Park when they were, when they had just came out because I, I had to kind of like backlog a lot of their previous albums. I was trying to like catch up, but in 2007, when they released that album, blown away. Then I remember when A Thousand uh, Suns came out, I was, uh, I don't know what year of university I was in. I must've been in my first or my second, but um, I was really trying to like find myself in the world. And to me, the music that accompanied me in that journey was Linkin Park and was A Thousand Suns, which is 
very fitting if you know about that album but um yeah L lincoln park especially chester bennington oh man like he is a voice of a generation of our generation you know every generation has a legend and has somebody that impacts the culture Chester Bennington, Lincoln Park, Mike Shinoda, Johan, like all the guys from the band, they're such a cohesive unit. Lincoln Park was actually one of the like rare bands that um, their lineup change has not changed at all. Like from the start right into the end, um, they've been a cohesive band from the start. And I love that because it just shows that there was friendship that formed and that, you know, cause a, a lot of them were friends in um, high school and then they started this band and then the rest is history so they've been together for i don't know man over 25 years together um and you can hear it in a lot of their songs um you know they're very they are the definition of a band everything is done together it's never like one person taking all the credit you know mike Sh shinoda he's a very big part of the band you know he does a lot of like the song writing and a lot of the producing but chester bennington also does a lot of the songwriting as well and you 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 hear it but this song powerless such a beautiful song because it's it's written in the point of view of someone watching someone that they care about wanting to end their life and you feel so powerless um to stop it and you're and you're always there you're always trying to help them to be their faith to be their hope and sometimes it doesn't work out in the end um you know and it's very ironic or it's, it's it's very tragic to know how Chester passed away, um, that he that the people around him felt powerless to save him, you know, and he he left behind, you know, a wife and kids. And he was the biggest frontmans of a band of all time, like one of the biggest. And for in to him, that didn't matter, you know, and recently we've all kind of discovered what was part of his darkness a lot of childhood trauma a lot of teenage trauma and you know depression is just depression you know he also dealt with a you know a lot of the alcohol just a, a lot of stuff to help cope with a lot of his childhood trauma and i'm not gonna talk about that you can read up on that but it, you know it's very heartbreaking and you know and now when you kind of go back and you listen to a lot of their songs with that point of view in mind you're like wow you know like it's it, it breaks my heart and I don't really listen to a lot of Linkin Park now because it's, it's very hard for me to listen to them. Just like with Michael Jackson, it's very hard unless it's like for the channel, but on my own. Because like just knowing what like for both of them, for like Michael and for Linkin Park, how much of an influence they had on my life. And then for them not to be around anymore, knowing I'll never hear anything new, it kind of like hurts. It's, it's a it's a it's a forever final goodbye. And especially with Lincoln Park, um, me trying to find out who I was growing up, um, kind of like, you know, going from like a, like a childhood to like the adulthood, Lincoln Park was that transition and they've always been a big part of me. And this song to me is just, it's one of their best songs. It's a song that's not talked about a lot. It, you know, if you're a Lincoln Park fan, you know of this song, but it's never really put on a lot of people's top 10 favorite lincoln park song which is so astonishing to me i think it's one of their best songs best written so song too, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a very and i like how the lyrics are simple but very relatable but very complex at the same time you know mm -hmm. um yeah it's just it's it's very sad um to hear this song again after so many years i don't even remember the last time i heard this song it must have been around the time he passed away because i remember when he passed away i went hardcore back in back into them again um but yeah like as you said, that One More Light, that release, that album, if you listen to that album now, that's basically Chester's letter to the world saying goodbye. And when that album came out, it was hated. Like it, it, it uh, like nobody liked that album when really? it came out. Yeah, because it was a very different style of theirs. But now it's being more respected now because when you listen to it, you hear Chester's cry for help on that album. And I remember that when that came out, I loved that album. I was surprised when people did not like it because Linkin Park has always changed up their style. Not, you know, a lot of their albums are very different from the previous album. Like they can write or create a pop rock album and then their next album is like a electronic, you know, and then the next one could be like a straight up post grunge rock, 
you know, thing. And then the next could be new metal. Then the next could just be like a straight up pop album. Like they they do they mix with all types of genres. So I don't really yeah. consider Linkin Park a rock band. They're a music band because they will they will experiment and do a lot of stuff with their music. So I love them. And I want to do more Linkin Park reactions because I'm I'm very surprised you're, you're not a huge fan of theirs. Like I think like the biggest thing about Linkin Park is their lyrics. Um, it's it's just so amazing like they they like they like talk about pain and sorrow in a way that i've never even could comprehend no i think it's okay for the people watching this who loves like mark please don't hate me but like okay because you know when i th tried to think about why i love nf but i couldn't love lincoln park in the same way just because like when nf sings it's hard for me, okay? Like, it's hard for me to understand English sometimes. And so when he sings, I clearly understand what he is saying. But when Linkin Park, like, for Linkin Ooh. Park, like, you know, <laughs> some of their songs, not all of it, but some of their songs, like, a lot of the songs that you would play to me that you would think I like is, like, when I listen to it, I can't listen to it without li lyrics. And it's just... It's hard for me to like, you know, understand them. But with NF, it's like he he sings a song, and I understand completely, and I'm on board. Well, it's kind of hard to compare them. They're they're two different genres. One is hip hop, and one is uh like rock, hip hop, pop kind no, of. Thing. Yeah, but like I know I know though that both of their messages are kind of the same. Like yeah. the mess the messages of the music that they put out there. But I think we'll have to definitely react to more Linkin Park because I mean, maybe, uh, yeah, because I, I mean, I, it's, I can, I wholeheartedly disagree. And I know a lot of people do too, because Chester's voice, it's very clear. It's very powerful. He has one of the most unique yeah. voices of, of all time. Like he's on that list of one of the greats of all time. And I think you're just, I think a lot of the songs that you may know have, or you know of, are songs from their earlier career, you know, from Hybrid Theory and from Meteor. But to me, like those out, those two albums are like 10 out of 10, they're masterpieces, you know, like I can listen to them. And again, like they were my transition into rock. And I used to think the same way about rock music that, oh, it's just loud, it's just noise. But when I heard Linkin Park, I was like, it's not noise. Like there is a message in that quote unquote noise you know and i think you really need to like give lincoln park a, like a chance like no. to actually listen to their songs on your own because i i honestly like i think i honestly i think we're gonna start doing more lincoln park reactions just because i think you're missing out on a lot no i'm not like you know i'm not a fan but even i can tell that they're an amazing band like even i can tell that you know it's like like listening to them when they're like you know reading their l reading the lyrics like i can tell that you know these people are really smart like they they know what they're talking about and they're like you know and they and they like transition it to their music really well like i know that it's just it's just not my type of music but i love chester like the last album of one more like you know what was it one more light yeah like that album like oh my god i loved it so much like and i still do and i'm probably gonna listen to it again the next few <laughs> the next few weeks so you know guys i'll definitely play her more lincoln park and i i honestly i can guarantee she she will change her mind um because yeah like i lincoln park is so universal like even my mom likes lincoln park and she doesn't like rock music and i and i know they're not rock but at their core they are rock you know but yeah like lincoln park is one of the most universal bands and it, it's very odd to hear someone who's like i know you're a fan but to say you can't understand them that's like blasphemy but anyways guys i uh, thank you guys please <laughs> don't be angry please uh -huh, thank you guys so much for watching um you can put on like uh like a list of songs that she may like by lincoln park and we'll definitely react to because i think we're going to start doing more lincoln park reactions because even though Michael Jackson's a huge part of my life, I don't I haven't really shared Linkin Park with you, which is very weird because they are my they yeah. are my favorite rock band and one of my biggest musical influences. No, of, there's a reason. There's a reason for that. Yeah, I don't know. But um, <laughs> we'll definitely do that. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I uh, yeah, will see you in the next video. See you.